Uh, good morning. Uh, short video uh, to add to the collection that I've done. This is going to show um, the same product, slightly redesigned. Uh, I've now got genuine uh, Xerox uh, and you know, Dell connectors uh, that will plug directly into the chip. Uh, or alternatively, you can plug them directly into the cartridge like so. Uh, makes life a lot easier and uh, means that you don't have to fiddle about taking out the chip. So what we're going to do now, um, I need a bit of a stand. Here we go. This is very so what we're going to do now is to plug in the connector just help if I get it the right way up. There you go. As you can see, there's a nice little light to show that it's working. Uh, the software's been slightly redone so that it will now work uh, with Windows um, 8.1, like so. Uh, all the software you need is on the disk. Um, and what you need to do is unload the right software. If you've got XP, um, let's just have a quick look. If you've got XP, it'll show it. So that, for example, uh, there we go. That's the one. Open, open, open. So you can see you've got a USB software. You've also got um, Windows 8.1. That USB software will work with XP and Windows 7. So let's just go back out to that. So this is the one we want for Windows 8.1, which is the Flash 3.12. So let's open that software. And because we're all connected up, it shows that we're connected. You need 12C EPROMs and you need a 24C O2C as the device name. So what I'm going to do now, a second. Let's plug in that chip, that cartridge rather, there we go, Oops. cartridge is plugged in. Uh, we're going to open up another, well actually I can read that, show you that uh, it reads. Okay, let's view the buffer. So you can see that that cartridge there is a Xerox cartridge. So we'll get rid of that and we'll open up another file. Let's uh, bear with me a moment, remember where I put it. Uh, one second, up oh, one. Let's find another one. Image EPROMs. There we are, there's a Dell. So we'll open up a Dell. Anyone will do black. Open. We're now going to write that to the same cartridge. OK. And we view the buffer. And you can now see that all the Xerox data has disappeared. And that, even though... Oh, it was a Dell originally. <laughs> there you go. So it was a Dell originally. So let's get rid of that again. And let's put the... Uh, Xerox software back on. Uh, so I want, this is what I use, you can see what I've got. I've got a 6140. So I need a 6140 in yellow. Open and write, yes we do. Okay, view buffer. And as you can see now, that's been changed back to uh, a Dell cartridge. So that shows it working with Windows 8.1. Uh, it will also continue to work with uh, XP and Windows 7. And um, I hope this has been helpful and useful. And if you need any help, uh, you know where I am. Uh, just drop me a line. Thank you very much.